Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with my script um, to control alpha value according um, to camera direction. Yeah, uh, let me show you these two rectangles. Both of them has uh, my script, but as you can see the different, there is some difference between them uh, because uh, on the left I, has, uh, I, has a, I have a linear function uh, between 100 and 0 value uh, between, of course, these angles uh, 20 and 90. And uh, for this uh, uh, rectangle, I use smooth function. Uh, it works like an uh, animation curve in the stage editor. So this way, much more um, uh, useful, probably, <laughs> for you, I hope. Um, because uh, I tested and uh, in real uh, camera movement it works uh, pretty nice uh, the object will appear more smoothly and more natural way okay uh, of course you can still use linear for some reason I don't know okay uh, let me show you some, some example in from real world to be sure uh, this is a uh, virtual Okay, uh, for example, I have some sim very simple um, screen on my virtual set and I can rot uh, rotate it. Oops, let me turn this off. Okay, and as you can see, it's working uh, and uh, it, it uh, changes uh, the alpha value for the whole object. It's very, very useful for me because I just can rotate it and hide all this uh, screen. Of course, uh, the main advantage uh, of this script uh, is that uh, you can not only rotate the object, but also can, you can ro rotate and move your camera. Just uh, imagine if uh, you have some real camera and it moves into your scene. And the object will appear only when uh, the cam when camera um, situated in the right place, and uh, when it moving, you will see that the smooth appearing animation of the alpha. Okay, and uh, of course, uh, as you saw, I have this uh, interesting box, uh, the mirror around ninety degrees, and uh, if this uh, checkbox is on. As you can see, it works in the both way for two directions of the main axis. Okay, and um, of course, you can inverse this value, show the object only, only on this edge. I don't know, maybe it will be useful for you. I made it. <laughs> Please use it. And let's uh, take a look at uh, the second example. Take a look at this uh, very beautiful forest of trees and uh, let me show you the main issue with that trees. Okay, uh, just take a look on this um, on this object. Yeah, I selected it. If I turn off the script, let me just delete it to be sure that it's not working. Okay, uh, as you can see, there's this uh, very sharp, sharp line on the um, under your screen it's not good of course uh, yeah of course uh, if especially if I put here a default value it will become more ugly I can uh, of course um, fix that with that parameters uh, but it's not it doesn't solve uh, the main issue with that uh, that, with that uh, sharp line. Of course, it's more useful to use my script to just uh, to avoid showing that uh, ugly sharp lines. Of course, if you want uh, to use that uh, sprite technique uh, to show a lot of object, because it's really um, optimized, Be because it's just a uh, just a plane with texture. It's really use uh, very very easy to render for this engine. Okay, uh, let me show you the next one example. It's just a, like a complex tree. <laughs> okay, it's not complex, of course. It's just a three um, planes. One, two, three. Okay, and uh, let me disable this script and uh, change alpha for all of them, 100. And let 
rotated. As you can see, this we have uh, the same. We met the same issue that we was uh, that we got into uh, our forest. <laughs> okay, uh, let's uh, turn our script again and let's continue to rotate. And now it looks pretty well. Of course, uh, if you use it uh, not for some foreground uh, geometric, just for some background uh, far away. It's very, very, very optimized uh, geometry with one single uh, texture. It's, it will work very, very well because um, it doesn't take a lot of performance. Let's take a look. Yeah, I have a lot of just like I have uh, performance with the empty stand. <laughs> okay. Let's return it. Oh, nice. Okay, um, I should say that is working like um, uh, Renell effect into the new um, uh, Fusion pipeline in Viz4. Let's let me let me show you how it looks like. These are regular. Okay. Yep. Now, now I have uh, the Alpha Fresnel power parameter and let me rotate it as you can see uh, we can control that kind of effect with alpha fresnel power but uh, the result is opposite that i want to have as you can see the faces who looks to the camera becomes uh, transparent and um, the turn it to 90 degrees it becomes more uh, more visible so I don't want it. I want to sh hide the whole object when it uh, doesn't look to the camera. Okay. For example, let's take a look how it will work in the Fusion Render Pipeline. Let's uh, fly by camera. Yeah, it's working. Yes, that kind of behavior I want to have from uh, that kind of logic. Okay, I hope uh, I hope uh, this script will be helpful for you. Just uh, use it, and uh, let me know if I can uh, extend or improve this improve this script for you. Yeah, take care and bye bye.